name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. I confess. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins. May He bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May Your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, Your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, sedviousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, fractions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with his passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song, Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those, those who follow, follow you, Lord, Lord, will have the light of Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues, and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you, you are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's readings, the Lord 
is coming very hard in a very uncompromising manner towards those who embrace hypocrisy. And what is hypocrisy? The practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform. Hypocrisy is simply pretense, appearing to be one thing and doing another. And you can see how Jesus was so uncompromising in his dealing with that, how he spoke very sternly to those who were supposed to, be, to know, those who were being looked up to, those who were seen to be the, the scholars of the law, the, the, the teachers of the law, those who were leaders, who were doing one thing and insisting on another. And someone challenges him, and you would think that he will soften his stance, and he is even probably even worse. He's a war to you too. You impose on people burdens how to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. And so Jesus is calling on us to look at him. And Jesus speaks about that in many, many parts of, of his teachings to us. There's one point where he says, come to me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. I just wonder how many of us, uh, uh, teachers, priests, religious, Christians, teachers in CCD or DRE will be able to tell our students, look at me and follow in my good example. How many of us as parents, how many of us grandparents can, can talk to our children and grandchildren and then, and then see, see how your dad and I live? Why do you talk to your sister like that? Haven't you been observing how grandma and I talk to one another? Why are you being so mean to your cousins? Have you not been observing how we, your grandparents, or we, your parents, deal one with another? If we have the courage, if we have the sincerity, if we have the audacity to be able to speak like that, then it means we are walking in sincerity and away from hypocrisy, which the gospel talks against, which Jesus is not going to mince words about in the gospel reading of today. But it is not easy, and yet it is not impossible. We pray for the grace to be able to stand by what it is we believe, when we stand up to declare that we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, of all seen and unseen, let us also live like people who believe. When we say that we believe in the Trinity, and we say we believe in the communion of saints, a community of persons who are in constant touch, in constant relationship, in a bond of unity and fraternity one with another, with God residing and presiding, then if we believe in these, then we are saying that we will, be, we will live our lives as a people, will live in solidarity and support with and for one another. We pray for the grace to remain steadfast. Even when we live contrary, even when we go contrary to what it is we declare or we profess, May the Lord grant us the strength. Even when we fall, may we not stay down, but rise up, walking with God in sincerity of heart. Let us pray. For all of us in the church, that the Lord will bless us and purify our hearts for the coming of the fullness of the kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord For civic and world leaders, may God grant them wisdom, compassion, and integrity 
in serving their communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord For couples who are struggling with difficult relationships, may the Holy Spirit guide them in reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this community of faith, may God help us to grow in charity and kindness and the fruits of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all our beloved dead, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the intentions for which this Mass is being offered, that the Lord will grant eternal rest to Caroline Mady and Barbara Garwood, we pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, especially in Russia and in Ukraine, and for peace in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Gracious and loving God, we ask you to hear these petitions we offer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that our offering may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept sacrifice your hands. Praise the Lord in His name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that, through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He straight out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are praying. Holy, 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 Lord God, 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 by sending thy your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Now, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. This is he who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we who have come to share at this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy of you, Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless and keep you. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Thank you.